is that a lot of parents have been waiting to hear Pfizer just announced its COVID vaccine is 100% effective in children ages 12 to 15. This is the first testing to show data in kids as young as 12. The company plans to ask the FDA to update its vaccine authorization to include the new age group in the coming weeks. And as more people become vaccinated, COVID-19 guidelines continue to evolve when it comes to students, the CDC, and now some schools in North Texas have relaxed some of those restrictions. With the summer months just well, a few weeks away, some parents are already thinking about summer camp. And as you know, kids under the age of 16 cannot get the COVID vaccine. So Chris Sadegui live this morning in Dallas. And Chris, with children unable to get vaccinated, how are these camps going to try to prevent the spread of COVID? Carol, we've talked a lot about getting back to normal and one of those traditions that we could get back this year, children in summer camps, although it could take some untraditional COVID testing. The state of Texas did announce yesterday a program that would help fund rapid testing for summer campers and staff. The camp would have to be one of the more than 300 licensed by state health services, and it also cannot be required for anyone at the camp. Right now, there are no vaccines approved for children, so the ability to test could be a make or break for some camps, although we just had the update on the Pfizer data for children. The Dallas Parks and Rec summer programs aren't among the ones licensed with the state right now, but they told us they plan on applying for the rapid COVID testing anyway, with the hope that program will be expanded. It's a game changer for everyone involved, families, um, staff, kids. So we're really hoping that we will also be included in this in this um, announcement. Prior to 2020, we averaged nearly 5,000 kids that we would serve just during the summer season. So it's our hope that this will be expanded to us as well. Meanwhile, another school district now making mask wearing optional for their students and staff. Joshua ISD made that change this week. The school board made that decision after looking at a survey of parents showing that's what the majority wanted. Most of the school districts in the area still do require masks for their students and staff. However, Joshua does join a few that already took the step. Weatherford and also Melissa no longer making it mandatory. Kara, back to you.